ยังจงจงเนี่ยจิกตินิจาชนจตุอกาตอกตินาไซไมค์กอนจะไหวเนี่ยทอกฟาโซเนี่ยตอนตังอีสบีซีทีวีเป็นจงเนี่ยจิก
plaques, there are monuments, pat on the backs. But I tell you what, members, monuments can be taken down by man or nature. Plaques and resolutions, they will be buried with all our veterans when they are gone. The point of passing this bill is that the future generations, generations of Hmong yet unborn, will remember the sacrifices that these warriors made for us. They fought so that I don't have to be in a uniform today. I get to wear a fancy suit, sit with Ryan Winkler, Representative Winkler, <laughs> and change the world without going into the battlefield. So I thank Ryan, Representative Winkler for supporting this effort from day one, the moment I met him, even before I even became a candidate. Madam Speaker, on behalf of the Hmong community, I want to speak to all our members. I ask our House Chamber here today to stand with our Hmong veterans of the secret war. Madam Speaker, to our Northern Minnesota delegates sitting here behind me, members from your iron mines on the Iron Range, as Representative Liz Lagarde often reminds this chamber, throughout history, the iron from your mines in the Iron Range helped win wars to defend freedom, the same type of freedom the Hmong fought for. And in more recent history, your leaders, like Representative Rukavina, has swayed deciding votes in this very chamber that passed legislation that benefited all Hmong Minnesotans. So today, Northern Minnesota, I hope that you all will vote green. Madam Speaker, to our Southern Minnesota delegation, it was your higher education institutions that educated waves of Hmong refugee children that were fighting to get out of poverty. I grew up in poverty, grew up in public housing. Your colleges educated our community to allow them to attain skills in order to become contributing members of Minnesota. Now Hmong American children has grown up to be doctors, lawyers, engineers, policemen, nurses, inventors, and scientists. In this chamber, we have Representative Jay Zhang, Representative Fu Li, and Representative Samantha Vang, three legislators of Hmong, Hmong descent that graduated from your institutions. So Southern Minnesota, I hope that you continue to help the Hmong community and vote green. And to our Western Minnesota delegation, many sitting on the other side of the aisle, Members, your vast fields and robust agriculture industry has brought many Hmong families far out into the countryside. Representative Hamilton can attest to this. It has allowed Hmong Minnesotans to go back to their roots, their roots as a historical farming culture. Many families have been able to plow the fields and raise animals that suits their skills and their passion that they brought from the old country. Now in Western Minnesota, the Hmong Minnesota community there loves their community, loves their cities. And they have been embraced in return. And as now we have two city council members of Hmong descent serving out in Western rural Minnesota. The Hmong hope to get your support again today, Western Minnesota. Please vote green. And Madam Speaker, to our Metro delegation, many of whom have championed Hmong Minnesota legislation priorities for the past 40 years. Today, we're coming to ask once more, please vote green. The Hmong community are moving up in the economic ladder. And Madam Speaker, I would like to speak to our suburban delegation, the battleground of Minnesota elections. To our suburban delegation, many who are freshman legislators, I say to you that with your support, your predecessors, the Hmong community has taken advantages of the privileges that Minnesota and America has to offer. The Hmong American, Hmong American community are moving up in the economic ladder, and now they are moving so ever greater into the suburbs, where they can get a backyard, join your local PTAs, volunteer at your community churches, participate in your little leagues, and pay taxes for the nice new neighborhoods they will be living next to you. 
So suburban Minnesota, this bill is of great importance to your more recent neighbors. Because every single Hmong American resident here is related to at least one veteran.